I'm going to talk about fan curves. So, I did literally eight hours of thermal testing with my rig and figured it would be something fun to touch on, I suppose. So, over here we see that I used, uh, for my setup, I used MSI Command Center and MSI Afterburner to set the case fan and CPU fan and also to set the graphics card fan in multiple steps. So all this testing was done after I swapped the thermal paste on my 980 Ti. I suppose I should go through the parts list now, I guess. Um, I've got it, the I've got the NZXT H440, an Asus 980 Ti, the Tomahawk Max motherboard, and a 3600X. So for myself, the software that I need is MSI Command Center with a different brand of motherboard and different kind of motherboard. The software will vary. Obviously, you got to go to your manufacturer's website, grab the software you need. And then if you want to do all this testing yourself to kind of see where things land for temperatures, go for it. Um, I've also got some terrible graphs that show you kind of how temperature goes down, obviously, with higher fan speeds. Um, each one of these temperatures was recorded after doing a 15-minute loop of superposition. The room temperature, I believe, was 23 degrees. And I also have the dust filter on my NZXT H440 taken off. The front panel's still on, but the dust filter is off. It actually makes a fair difference to take that dust filter out. Something else you might want to try on your rig if it's getting a little toasty. So, um, setting a fan curve. Most people know how to do it, but I figured I'd go over it anyways. Um, for myself, the reason I do it is because if I'm watching a YouTube video and I don't have the fan curve on, and I just have it to the default factory settings, the card goes up to 64 degrees. That's not dangerously high or anything, but for watching a YouTube video, it's a little bit much. So with the fan curve that I have set, the temperatures go all the way down to 42 degrees until I start gaming, and then obviously that changes. But idle temperature of 42 is way better than 64, obviously. So, let's bring up Afterburner here. Oh, I've already got that up. Getting a little ahead of myself. All right, cancel. So, for setting the fan curve, something I would recommend is figuring out at what point you actually hear your fans on your graphics card. So, grab this slider right here in Afterburner. There's also different skins in Afterburner. I'll uh, actually first user interface. Um, yes, I like the Cyborg skin in red. Um, the default one, the, uh, the nice thing about the default one is that you can see more of your graphs over on the side here. I actually tend to like that. But anyways, it, it's up to you which skin. I'll, I'll do it with this skin for now, I suppose. Um, what you want to do is click on settings, wherever it may be in your skin of Afterburner, go to fan, click enable user defined profiles, and then we're going to figure out where, like I said earlier, you want to figure out where your noise floor is. So at what point in fan percentage do you actually start to hear it? That's going to be different for everybody's setup. I've got noise canceling headphones on. Some people may not have that, but have speakers and your room and your case, and there's many, many variations. So... I'm going to click cancel for this for now. You're going to want to come down here, adjust this slider, and see at what point you actually hear your fans. So at 100%, let me just grab the mic. All right, so I'm going to point this at the case. I can hear that, so hopefully it picks it up. Doesn't seem to be a huge difference between 90 and 100%, oddly enough. Um, also, what, as you're dragging this, you've got to click apply each time in between to obviously change your fan settings. So yeah, from 100 down to 90, I didn't hear a huge difference. And then 90 down to 80, I heard a bigger jump. So I'll put the mic back over there.
Right. Not sure if the microphone picked it up, but where I stop hearing it like completely at all is at 40. I can hear it a tiny bit at 45, not a lot, but I'm actually put this back. Maybe I should click it off before I do that. Yay for switches on microphones. Anyways, um, for myself, in my case, 40% is my noise, is kind of where it's no sound, relatively speaking. I've also got the case fans at 100%, so I don't really hear that much either. The case fans are pretty quiet. So with that information, you can go, okay, I'm going to go to settings. I'm going to go to fan. Check mark this. And then you got all these little points here that you can set your fan curve. Um, from there, you can set your lowest fan speed possible at 40. That way your card gets a little bit of airflow. Um, I've seen some cards where you don't hear the fan all the way up to like 50. So if that's your case, you just move these little points, move them up to 50, and away you go from there. Um, I do ramp up my fan fairly aggressively in case things are getting toasty in there, depending on what I'm doing. Um, and what I was doing to test it was obviously superposition, which is pretty hefty on your on your video card. You could use heaven, you could use superposition, you could use val, you could use pretty much any kind of sub fur mark. Is it? I don't think I've ever used fur mark, but you can use it if you want to to stress it out and test your temperatures and all those values and stuff. Um, depending on your card, your maximum temperature is going to be different. I know the old 390 that I used to have, the maximum temperature, I believe, was 95 degrees. So from there, you could say, okay, I'm not going to ramp up the fan to 100% until I'm at yep, 95 degrees. If you want, I would usually recommend probably, like if you're at 90 degrees, you should probably have your fans rocking at 100%. Um, I put it at 80 with this card because the stock max temperature is 83. And I think in games, like with my fan curve set, I might hit a temperature of like the mid 70s at most. Actually, I've got a, I got that nice graph right behind all this. So I'll just so once once you're done and you've got your fans that ramp up and however whatever settings you have for silence and for gaming and all that stuff and you got that optimized, you can click apply, hit okay. And then here you've got to click auto, I believe, and then you've got to have this user profile clicked in. You click apply on that, and then that should, where's the fan speed? There it is. Apparently, it kicked up to 50% fan speed because uh, it must have been, oh, no, I know why I did that, because I set my, D duh, let's put these back down to 40. Wow, I just, okay, that, that's a thing. You learn something every day, I suppose. If you double click, uh, your f fan curve turns into these steps instead of the gradual line. Okay, good to know. Apply. Okay. Perfect. And from that, as we can see here, my temperature right around up here has remained at about 40 to 41 degrees. If I was to turn that off, it would slowly ramp up to like 60 degrees and not really much need for that in my opinion. Um, some people would argue, oh, but if the fans are off, the card will, like, the fans will last longer because you're, you know, you're not using them as often. They're not spinning as often. Another argument is, oh, if you're spinning the fans more, you're going to be sucking more dust into the graphics card. Also true. You might have to clean it a little more often. But I'll take the trade off in temperatures any day of the week. You're gonna the fans going will also keep your VRMs cooler and your VRAM cooler as well. So, in my opinion, it's worth those trade offs. Um, usually, graphics card fans will last a fairly long time, and if one does eventually fail, I feel for myself at least that's just an excuse to open it apart, replace the thermal paste, take the stock fans off of it completely, and just strap a couple of 120 mil fans to it. And then just run it that way. Linus Tech Tips did that with, I think, 
I think it was a 960 video card years ago. And one, it runs quieter. And two, the temperatures get lower. So everybody wins. Uh, da, da, da. Was there any other talking points I want to go over? Fan fails, replace it with a 120 mil. MSI Afterburner Command Center for my motherboard. Oh, right. I was going to move this over. So, yes, case fans at 100% is what I'm, what's what I have going all the time. Um, right. So, I guess it would depend where my fan curve lands as far as temperatures for gaming. That being said, even with a fan speed of 45, which I'm sure it goes over, the graphics card temperature only goes up to 74, which is well within safe tolerance and safe operating regions. Now, that brings up something that I actually did want to discuss. You can go to settings. You can set this for... If, you can also do noise optimization if you want. So... Even if you don't want to be as aggressive with it, you know that your noise floor is at 40. So you could say, I want it to be silent for as long as possible before the fans ramp up. You could take this point here, drag it all the way down like, like this. Click apply on that. That way your fan would stay at 40. All the way up to here. And then the second you hit 80 degrees, the fans would just blast. The problem with that is you'll probably run it, depending on the game you're running, and if you actually hit 80 degrees, it's going to be a jarring difference, going from 40 to 100% fan speed in the blink of an eye. So that's usually why I would recommend to have more of a linear-ish increase for your fan curve. Other than that, I don't... Set the noise floor. You can do it silently if you want. Oh, one last talking point. Um, with newer graphics cards, performance will get better if you can keep the card cooler. So if you want, and if you've got noise-canceling headphones, and you're playing a game that's fairly loud, you might be able to just go like this, click Apply, have the fans blasting at 100%, and by default, a newer video, like with GPU boost, your video card will just, I don't want to say work better. That's a little archaic. But if your temperatures are lower, your card will boost further. And for single player games, if you want a higher frame rate, that's almost a one step way of overclocking, I suppose. But... It's it's obviously you know it's got the trade off of your fans are on blasting at a hundred percent all the time, and again myself even with my noise canceling headphones if I was playing a game maybe I wouldn't hear it so much, but if when I'm not playing a game and I'm just sitting here idle, I definitely hear those fans going. Uh, da, 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 da. was there anything else? Zero percent fan at idle. That's no good. We'll wear out your fans. Card will accumulate dust faster. I believe that's pretty much everything that I wanted to go over. Um, any questions? I'll try to respond to, though I can't imagine what qu what what questions might arise from this, but. Shoot whatever you got at me, and I'll see what uh, see what I can answer. Thanks for watching.